Hugh Hefner. Trust me, I'd rather just be single. Thank you, though. Well, somebody's gonna have a sugar mama. If your wife can spend more than you make, like, you need to make more money, so... I was just having this conversation with... Let him cook. She said, what? My more than you make. Thank you, though. Well, somebody's gonna have a sugar mama. If your wife can spend more than you make, like, you need to make more money, so... I was... Boom. You could have a billion dollars. They could spend that in, in, in instantly. One tap. Just having this conversation with my friend, and she was like, you have to Tank manifest bounce. a husband, girl. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan. Well, I'm that car got a back bumper who, on it. Know, we don't talk about these topics or even think about these topics. The point here is to get an honest opinion and reaction from these women, whether it be good or bad. As women about male income, how much is enough fun? Honest nonetheless. In this video specifically, I'm going to be asking the women about salary preferences and statistics for them, and we're going to get through this together. So let's get started. Okay. Ideal partner age. We could probably skip that. I don't give a fuck about that. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try it. What is the ideal age for a guy that you are looking to be with? Mm, so I just turned 27. Don't care. Sure. What percent of the family income do you personally want to contribute? Like, 50 do you want to be a breadwinner? Do you want to contribute 50 50? Do you want to be a stay at home wife or mom? I would be comfortable contributing 50 50, okay. but I would prefer that it be more so like 40 50. Then <laughs> what are you going to do to make up for that extra 10%? What do you do as a person, guy or girl? to make up for 40, 60. Wait, guys, I didn't say 40, I didn't say 40, 50, did I? Guys, it's a 10% differential. Oh, she did it, oh. Okay. Me 40, 60, like you, yeah. the 40, then the 60. But why? Yes. Um, Wait, but why? I'd be okay with you know, I never thought of this. I don't know. These weren't the things that I fixated Yo, on the most. Yo, if, if your response isn't an instant snap 50-50, or you have a legitimate good reason for you're just fucking brain dead. You're, you, have a pro you have a problem. Dude, what else? Did you, you, have, you have a problem, actually. Most when I envisioned my partner, but if I had to throw it out there, um, like maybe half or a little under half, I'm probably what like under? Top. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so I personally, um, I would not mind contributing like majority, but I would say no more than seventy percent of household income. So I really want to be. Wait. What? I would say no more than seventy percent of household income. So I really want to okay. be a stay-at-home mom. So yeah. like, no more than. If that doesn't work out with the person I'm with, then it doesn't work out. But that is like how I picture myself as a mom and a wife. So I guess I wouldn't be contributing financially. I don't want any of my income to be needed in the family. I I, I want the man to be 100. percent Chat. This is going. Guys, yeah, this is a, 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 a complex topic because that would be a late game when you do have kids and when you do get there, right? What about before though? Whenever you meet somebody and you have a household, you're not immediately into fucking uh, 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 a kidhood. So what are you gonna do while you're waiting? You say, you, you, you say, oh, maybe you live for free because we're gonna have kids one day and what is this shit? Percent. It's like a late game build. In the family, any of my income. Oh, I guess I wouldn't be contributing financially. I don't want any of my income to be needed in the family. I, I, I want the man to be 100% the supporter, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna work and I'm not gonna have my own business or whatever, I just... But you would want the family to be able to live solely off of your yes, husband's Yes, 100% income. solely off of my husband. I don't want me to have to use my income at all, but that's not because I'm not gonna be working or I'm not gonna have my own like stuff going on. It's just because I want the freedom to be to be able to take care of my kids for the first like seven years of their life. I wanna be a stay at home mom and be with them basically 24 seven. Okay. Um, I think that's important. 
in the family structure. So that's pretty much the only reason why. Okay, so you would, you would choose stay-at-home mom. So 0%, we'll say. Yes. Okay. I think 50-50 is definitely acceptable, and that's what I'd enjoy. I wouldn't enjoy feeling like someone has to take care of me. I don't like relying on people or men or really anyone for money. I think that's totally just unacceptable. I don't that's just how I was raised. If I'm painting a picture, if it's my ideal life, I would love to just be a stay-at-home wife with some hobbies and, you know, raising a family because that's just the way I grew up. You know, I had a stay-at-home mom and it was just a really good environment to have. Okay, so ideally that's what you would want. A hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to talk about your ideal lifestyle. Okay. So thinking about a house, how many bedrooms, how many square feet, what are we thinking? Um, I mean, I don't need anything, you know, crazy spacious, but I definitely do want a big enough. Okay, in my, in my opinion, chat, okay. In my opinion, stay home mom is fine, right? If you fucking clock in, like you do all the things that are needed from some woman. That means, because she says, oh, with some hobby. Imagine if the guy said he wants some hobbies. Or like, dude, does that mean that like, he's going to work less to have hobbies? No. You work in your eight-hour day, you do the whole juicer, and you, you do all the things that you needed. Everything. What? I'm not even insulating it. All I'm saying is that if you take the role of a full 100% home one trick, right? You're a one-trick pony of the house. Well, it better be a fuck. You better be fucking absolutely rolling it. The house must be absolutely intact, and the children must be raised properly. Because otherwise, well, okay. Um, what happens when the guy decides to take a hobby or to chill when he's at work? Bro, you get evicted. You have less income. Lose your job. If you decide to slack and chill and relax, you get fired. That's how the real world works. When you decide to chill, you lose income. You get evicted. Yo. So and I mean that. That, that, that fact, that energy need to be from both parties. Otherwise, Enough home where otherwise, this is like, I'm sorry, not gonna happen. Where everybody can have their own, you know, individual selves and space to feel comfortable. So just depending on lifestyle and family, at least three to four bedrooms for sure. Two full baths because God forbid there's more than one girl in the house. That'll be drama. Um, and definitely like a big backyard. So at least five acres. you know to roam on is what I aspire to have and then square footage on a house I really don't even know how to like scale something like that I don't like four to five thousand square feet maybe okay. what you describe sounds close to that. like that if I need to go bigger obviously you know we'll go we'll go bigger that's no question but just a nice comfortable size home okay and then how many kids do you want um chat last pause I just agree with this I wonder why because at that point if you have enough money to buy all this right most people that have uh, things of that size, they usually have like um, a maid, right? Usually, at the, a size, a house that big, no shot. The stay-at-home mom washes everything. In. Then there needs to be an equivalency of a value somewhere else in the house. There just has to. Otherwise, it's unfair. I don't give a fuck if I'm out there fucking dying to fucking make the income over the foot. If I'm not me, as me, as a person, as Felix, because I just stream, I'm a moron. Okay. If you send the man out to fucking die, okay, well, if there's excess, well, we can, delegate, we can delegate the tasks to people that we can pay with the money you're making, and I can just spend more time hobbying and chilling. Fuck that shit. What the fuck is this shit? Hell no. Nah. Then I'm gonna, then, fuck that. I'm gonna just, at that point, I'm just gonna fucking adopt a kid and fucking get somebody to raise it, and, like, at that point, I'll just, like two or or two to three okay. if I you know two boys and a girl would be ideal okay and what about a car I know you like mm. cars <laughs> yeah if it if it could be anything you know if it's my dream it'd probably be a Pagani BC which is like a hypercar but I don't even know. I, oh yeah. my gosh they're so <laughs> sexy so that would be how much is that car I don't even know probably at least like 1.5 mil for sure, oh my at God. least. I don't okay, even so know. what about what about not the dream car, but something uh, more realistic that yeah, I would. Yeah. What's gonna pay, what's gonna pay for this? The hobby? Uh, huh? That yeah. I would get. Um, Just to give us a ballpark, like a, yeah. kind of a range. Maybe like yeah, mm, some sort of like F12 Ferrari, like an A12 Superfast would be super cool, or maybe like a 458. 
Okay. Um, How much are those? Would like be ideal. 80? No, those are probably uh, depending like 300,000 to oh. 525k, just depending right. on what you go with and She's a car girl. Love them. All right, and then what about vacation? How important is travel to you? Like international, Ooh. what are we thinking? So I've not done any crazy international travel. I'm skipping this one then. It would be because we're financially open. I'll see it. So, something so it's like something that. you'd like to do. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's, it's not a huge priority. No, no, that's a good video. It's a good video. I enjoy it. That is on yeah, this is Brent more important than the vacation. Yeah. So... If I was a stay-at-home mom, it would be because we're financially okay without me working. And, like, if we were in a position where that wasn't the case, then I would 100% work and, like, be fine with that. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to have, like, three kids, so you'd have to have a bigger house for that. So I don't even know because I've never owned a home. Maybe, like, I don't know what's normal. Like, is 3,000 square feet normal? That might be big. Yeah, would you say like four bedrooms? Like yeah. a four bedroom home, something yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay, and then what about like cars? Would you want to drive a luxury car? Do you not really care about that? I don't care about cars. I know a lot of people do. Like I drive a Mazda. I don't agree you need that much more space for more kids. Have you heard of bunk beds? What do like them? Uh, and I'm like perfectly happy with it. So that's not a big thing to me. Okay, and then what about vacations? Would you want to travel internationally? Things like that? Yes, I love traveling. Like I think experiences are like the most like invaluable thing in life so i would love to be able to travel domestically and internationally how many square feet would your house be oh minimum 23 okay 2300 square feet. <laughs> right she yeah. knows <laughs> and how many kids uh so that kind of depends on the person um i would be okay with none and also like it just depends on their values i would say ideally though my max would be four okay what about a car I want a car where it's, it's nice and it stays nice. I know ideally if you have kids, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like, personally for me, an SUV, kind of like Escalade, you know. The OG like mom car of like, well, back in the day. No, I think it's a safe car. <laughs> okay. And then what about vacations? Do you want to travel internationally? Is travel important? SUVs are you? pretty safe. Huh? Yes. Uh, travel internationally. Um, Guys, I'll give it this travel shit that I, I couldn't do a fucking Your ideal it. lifestyle. So house. What's your house? How many square feet? Shoot. Like, I never even thought of this. Um, 10,000. <laughs> Okay, what about uh, how many kids do you want? I thought in terms of like family, this guy's got to be funny. We need to have inside jokes. Like, um, uh, kid, kids, probably if I if we're financially able to, um, like maybe three kids. Okay, three kids. So maybe like four bedroom house. Sure. Okay, yeah. and what about car? Do you care about a car? Um, I like my Jeep. Okay. Boom, boom, guys, guys. Here's the base take again. Your kids don't all need their own rooms. They just don't. They don't. What about vacation? Do you want to travel internationally? Sorry. Is that important to you? I feel like vacations is where I kind of would like to be financially stable enough to do fun things like that. And they do, yeah. no, they don't. Um, I. They want, or they think they want. You want. You may think that, they, that you want. They don't need, it, brother. I, me, and my brother, were growing up on a bunk bed, and it was fucking fire. It was fire. Privacy? I don't give a shit. Fuck your privacy. Wait till your brother. Is gone. If you want to, I have a go over. Okay, or tough fucking luck. Go to her place or go outside. Loser, fuck. I don't care about the square footage of the house. I just want it to have enough space for me and however many kids. Also, if my boy wants to have a girl, dude, yo, I better see those homeworks are done. Okay, I better see this agenda filled to the brim, organized, edited, bro, bro. Ain't no girl coming up for the fucking room if your homeworks aren't cleared up, bitch ass. Use the room to why? To sit down and do the homeworks, yo. I don't give no fuck. It's what is have, this shit? We have one kid. We can just have one bedroom for them, like an extra bedroom, so like two bedroom house. If I have five kids, then I want to have a five bedroom house um, or a six bedroom house because we need a bedroom. Um, what? So I'll ask you then, how many kids do you want, like ideally? I want two kids. Okay. I never did my homeworks, okay? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm unbottling, forget. So, ideally, so we'll base the house off the two kids. So you what, what, would want like a three bedroom, right? I would want three bedroom, yeah. Maybe like an office added, um, but I don't care about any luxury 
that is luxury. finishes or whatever. I would want it to be nice. I don't really care about like a swimming pool or anything crazy like that. Yeah, what she, um, what she, what she said. It doesn't matter it if I'm super wealthy. I still would want to like be within our means. Okay. Like within our needs. Okay. What about a car? Do you care about the car? Um, I do kind of care about cars. I do like luxury cars. I think they're nice and I think they're sexy. But again, I, I would never go above. I would never want to be struggling because we're paying a crazy car payment. It's only if we were we had enough money that we could afford a luxury car. And even then, like I wouldn't want like a Lamborghini. I personally, I like BMW and Mercedes <laughs> just because they look nice. But I would get like just a nice car that I I, I would want to be. Yeah, this is reasonable so far. Okay, let's give it a chance, shall we? To get to passive income. I'm going to go with like, I feel like. Come on, we're rooting for you. 21 to 2200 square feet. Okay, yeah. that's Enough. reasonable. How many kids do you want? Well, I haven't had one yet, so I don't really know what that pain endurance is really going to be like. Okay, Bay um, Z, keep going. So for, for right now, I'm going to stick with two. I'll say that. And uh, probably about like five bedrooms in the house. You always have to have an extra bedroom. And then the walk in closet has to be in my bedroom. So. Right, that might be a little more than 2,000 square feet. What about a car? Do you need a luxury car? What, like, are you okay with regular car? No, I'm not okay with a regular car. <laughs> I'm not at all. I love cars. I feel like when you get into it every morning or you're getting out of work or you're getting out of work going to your car, it's something that you look at and you're like, damn, like I'm happy I'm working for something good and that makes me feel good. It makes me happy. So I enjoy having a nice car. Okay. I had a Mercedes that I really enjoyed. And then I... Actually, I feel like this one chat is like Intel fuel. Dude, people are fucking struggling, dude. They're fucking pay for their half of their rent, that they're living like three people in a one bedroom. And the motherfucker come out with you saying, yeah, no, no, no more cars, a supercar only, five bedroom. I'm like, yo, I have, yo, yo, I've I had don't know, Volkswagens man. and I have one now and Bro, I love Volkswagens. So. so I say those top two are good. Acuras are cool, but definitely Mercedes and Volkswagen. I feel like those are my top tier faves. Okay. What about vacation? Do you want to travel internationally? How important is it? Okay. So I have one child I like to have. Oh. This you one, have one that, right, she's natural. right now, correct? Watch it. Yes, so I have one child. I like to have one child. On. I'm enjoying this. I don't feel like I'm ready for another kid just because I still view myself as a young person and I feel like um, children can be limiting in a lot of ways, especially since I am single. But if I had a partner, um, I think I would like to have one to two more children so three all together okay by the time i'm 32 like once i turn 32 i think i'm cool like i'm gonna be comfortable with my one child uh -huh. for the rest of my time here. okay <laughs> so you, if you did have more kids you would want them to be before you turn 32 yes what you're yes okay yeah so now thinking about okay we'll just say maybe you want three kids we'll go with that for the number how many square feet would your house be how many bedrooms would it be ideally Come on. If I had three children, though, I would definitely want at least five bedrooms. Because if I had family members that wanted to stay over, mm -hmm. I could put them in that room. And then I could have, like, another room for a different purpose. Yo! Yo! It's really the, the couch, yo. It's like the couch, yo. Space or, you know, a computer room. I haven't right. sleep on the fucking sofa. Or and some then what shit, about man. a car? Like, are you a luxury car type of gal? What? Do you not care about the car? It's one day. So I'm practical with cars. I feel like I drive so much and I have a child. So my car needs to accommodate my lifestyle. Um, however, I would definitely have like a car that I would use day to day. And then I would probably have like a more luxurious car that I would use recreationally. What? Oh man, fuck man. Oh man, fuck. Oh um, man. Alone, or like with my mans. So, and I wouldn't have like a modern sports car. Like my my luxury car would be like an old Grand National or something like that. Like pimped out. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then what about vacation? How important is travel to you? Like international travel? Is it something you prioritize? 
Yeah, travel is actually um, really big to me. I like to go different places and experience different cultures and foods. I think that it's really nice to do That's that with ideally, my daughter as well. It kind of shows her I, I, something different. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And finally, we're here. I do income. Here comes, here comes, here comes, here comes. I feel like I'm gonna rage. Chat, I, feel, I feel like this is gonna make me fucking mauled. Chat, I guess I feel like this is gonna make me mauled. I'm gonna mauled. Day to day. Mm -hmm. so. Keeping all these things in mind, what you would like your ideal life to look like. What would you say? What would you want his income to be? If you're gonna be a stay at home mom. Come on, we're like, for you. What kind of range would his income be? Um, Come on. That's tough because I feel like I would have to like break down like how much it actually like costs to have kids and like travel and the house and all that. And I, I don't really know, but. Um, I think for me to be comfortable, like staying at home and not working, like. Come on. Mm, I feel like this is gonna sound bad. I feel like like three hundred thousand. Like I guess if they made less than that, I feel like we wouldn't have the lifestyle I wanted, so I would work. Right. But you're you're talking ideal lifestyle. Like yeah. this is yeah. your dream life. 300k for you to be able to I think so. Be a stay-at-home mom and not have, have three to worry kids and all that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think life's expensive. I would just like to preface this as saying this is not do or die. Um, but based on where I'm at, if he makes between like uh, anywhere Yo. from 70 to 100k, Yo. I'd have to say 120. After this, after this social experiment, okay, you know what you should do? You should sit them down in a room, okay, and, and give them the book. that it's, it's a government book, okay? The book of career and jobs, okay? It tells you how much uh, every job makes on, a, on average, right? And to really take it in. So, uh, I'm this. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think life's expensive. <laughs> I would just like to preface this as saying this is not do or die, um, but... Based on where I'm at, if he makes between like uh, anywhere from seventy to hundred k, I would have to say one twenty seven. Um, Bro, what's up with her and like specific numbers? Ideally, like if they're in an industry where they do have longevity and they know, like, hey, every single year I'm gonna get a raise between like three to five percent, which you know just depends. Like, the, I would be comfortable with that. Five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Is that bad? I know. Uh, I, hey, lady, lady, lady. If you have to ask, the cameraman laughed. Not, not the girl who directs the video. The guy on the camera. Yeah, he laughed. By the way, I'm, I'm, uh, That's a hint. Did you see the hint? Five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Is that bad? I know that one percent of men make five hundred thousand dollars, or like less than one percent of men, or something. I'd say. Or something. Or something. No, chat. I, I can't. I can't. Chat. These videos are too much. Chat. Chat. This is. Chat. This. This is just fuel for absolute radicalized hatred. It just is. It just is, man. I'm sorry, man. A probably one fifty to a quarter of a million. It's here. realistic. It's my Bro. guess. Okay, and you would contribute also fifty fifty. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You'd be willing to do up to 50. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So keeping all this in mind, we just painted your ideal life. Yeah. For the 27-year-old man, what would it's his so income hard. ideally be? Like half to What be would it have to be? To support this life. <laughs> Which is so funny because I saw this video the other day where it was saying like, if your wife can spend more than you make, like you need to make more money. So it really just depends. Um, but no, no, please, please don't, don't do us like that. By us, I mean everybody that watches this video. More than you make, like you need to be saying like, like, <laughs> which is so funny because I saw this video the other day where it was saying like, if your wife can spend more than you make, like you need to make more money. So it really just depends. Um, but I mean, just to have like a really decent lifestyle and, and you know, be supported well, like 150, maybe to 250,000 a year it would be comfortable for sure the more the merrier but that'd be comfortable i was just having this conversation with my friend and she was how is that fair bro where do you guys live where do you live where dude dude, dude unless i haven't i'm completely out of touch 150k dude 
You are fucking balling out. You're doing fin You're doing insane. If you have 150k a year to act like that that's a fair thing. No, it's not. You're balling the fuck out. Man, how is that? I'm wrong. What? It's like, you have to manifest a husband, girl. Like, you have to really think about the lifestyle that you want to live when it comes down to vacations and how many kids you want to have. And um, just like the lifestyle that you want to have. And I feel like... The ideal response would be, I would, I think, I think the ideal, what you want the best is 80K and up. That's the ideal. Things you would settle for, probably like under 80, but like a 60. Dude, bro, bro. This is how it is. This is just I reasonable amounts. My husband needs to be making like 650,000. I feel like there's a beauty in growth getting to that point. Okay. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm going to contribute, you know, more than what I'm contributing now. Yeah. <laughs> no, but ideally, I would want someone to eat to be able to match my hustle. So mm -hmm. like, if I'm making this much and I have this lifestyle, this person can ah! have a lesser lifestyle than me. Otherwise, it is not gonna work out. Yeah. So. So you said you would want to contribute 40% max. Right. So if they're making 650, that would mean you would be making 400. What is the hustle? What is the hustle? If the hustle is scamming, yeah, I guess the hustle is right. Thousand. And that sounds great to me, unless <laughs> I could be making more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think is the median income for age 31? Oh my god, here it comes. Um, as of right now, I think it's probably like, like 55, 60. Mid 50s, maybe 60. Good. It's $45,000. How much did I say? Yeah. Oh. What do you think the top 25% of men are making at 31? I think it's probably in my range of like that mid, like maybe like 57. 70. 70. Oh. Top 10% of men. I would say 90. 31. 90. 111, you're close. Okay, and then what about the top 1% of men? Ooh, I would say 120. 252. Wow, okay, that top jumps 1%. pretty pretty high. So you're, you're asking 127 is- mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Um, okay, no. Okay, guys, I could be wrong with this. I could be wrong. Is there a chance that these stats are skewed because of the uh, the, the the super intense above top one percent? The people in the minimum, they're like they're completely skewing the results. Or is, am I wrong about that? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's median, so that's that's pretty. Uh, uh, that's pretty bad. Closest mm -hmm. to the top ten percent of men, so I would say it's probably top five percent at at thirty one. I had to guess. So top only the top five percent of men at thirty one are making one hundred and twenty seven thousand. Oh, means better. Yeah, it's better. That's insane. <laughs> it's still skewed though. That is crazy. Um, but it's kind of crazy because over seventy percent of men never make a hundred thousand even one time in their life. Seventy percent of men. So that means only thirty percent of men are well. Actually, that means that you have. Because I'm not being being into bait. I think that this now that you come down to the realization that when. You, Let's say, let's say in this context, I would, in a, I'm not trying to be rude. Do you view yourself as a top 30% or more women or girl in terms of anything that a household or uh, an another citizen person needs? The reality is, um, I'm, 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 I'm. 23, last year in 2021, only 23.4% of the male workforce made $100,000. And that's, that's factoring that in all ages, just brain rot. not just, I you know, be a guys under 32 my or wife makes whatever it is, you, you assume most of them are a little bit older. Ray are making, oh my gosh. I don't know, maybe 80? It's actually 41,000. You're lying. Hey For man, Mr. XQC, why- She said 80? Uh, no, but no. For 27 year old. I just feel like everything is so expensive nowadays. Like, I guess it, yeah, that's fine. No worries. Cut it in half. 41,000. Like that's Shorty the, will bring it home. Oh! That's the uh, median. And then what yeah. do you think the top 25% of men at 27 make? Uh, I guess that's it. I mean, let's change up the perspective. Maybe 60K? 61. Yep, okay. close. And then what about the top 10%? Top 10? 
75? 91. Okay, okay, so you're under there. And then what do you think the top one percenters at 27 are making? Oof, like 200K. Spot on, 203. Yeah, good job. Yeah, awesome. Yep, so you want a 1% man at 27? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that's all we want nowadays with these. But are you a 1% girl though? One percenters. Median income never eclipses 65,000 regardless of age. So hmm. 70 to 100 is above the median. Well, somebody's gonna have a sugar mama. <laughs> Damn. Not 300,000. I mean, <laughs> the median, um, Damn, I'm I... gonna guess like, Please don't. I don't know, is it like 80? Oh, man, no. It's $48,000 hey, for 32. Hey, hey, okay. Yeah, and hey, even, hey, at the crazy. Crazy. even at the top, 35, which was the end of your range, yeah. um, the median is $52,776. So my expectations are not realistic. <laughs> so you said you want 500K, but what do you think the median income is for a 30 year old? 60K? 70K? It's not that bad. Not 50K. Bad. It's not, it's it not. It's $45,000. Oh my God, really? She wasn't that bad. Okay, you guys, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom, okay, my mom was what you would call, okay, at the time, she was doing very good for herself, very good, okay? And I did the math again, okay, and I thought she was doing like 65 or like 70, uh, 65K when I, well, uh, when I was growing up. So, my idea of, a, of salaries has always been stuck in like, a, you're, if, you're, you're, if you're doing, you're doing fantastic, at 100K. Great, great at 80. Good at 60. Average, uh, about at like oh, 50 and, and a little bit under. So I kind of had it spot on pretty much. Yeah. So, so what, my old school, I guess stats still apply to the current world. That's, that's the median. Now, what, what would you guess if you had to the top 25% of men or people at age 30? Well, if that's the medium, then the top 25, like. Oh, inflation, but I'm, I'm taking money. 60? 73. And then what, what about the, the top 10% of men? 100? Close, 108. What about the top 1%? Top 1% I mean, three thirty. Okay, we're, guys, we're still rooting for her somehow. Come on now. Well, at least I am. Okay. <laughs> for a thirty-two-year-old, what do you think the median income is for 32. this age specifically? Come on. For a forty-two-year-old. Thirty-two-year-old. Thirty-two-year-old. The age that you chose. I'm gonna go with probably like eighty-five k a year. Forty-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> The top 25% of men, guess how much that is at 32? Wait, say that once more. The top 25% at at uh, 32 years old. I don't know, now I'm even nervous to answer the question. I guess like maybe 100. You can literally have an idea on how the world works by looking at the cars on the road. You can, you can have better ideas and results in the real, that are applicable almost one-to-one -one by just looking at the vehicles. 25. That's it. 77. Top 10% is 120, and the one percenters at 32, 1%, this is men and women, 1% at 32, 320,000. I think it's 250,000. It's 52,000. What? No, it's not. <laughs> 50, Damn, <000. laughs> America. <laughs> and then guess how much the top 25% is at 35. These are the top 25%. No! No, 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 no. This this isn't true. Nah, nah, nah. This is a skit. Yo, 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 yo. Thirty-two. Yo, yo, yo. It's fifty thousand. I think it's two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand as the median. She thinks that the median at thirty-two. When most people are like it. Beginning medium of their growth in terms of performance. Uh, uh, 250,000? It's 52,000. What? No, it's not. <laughs> how? <laughs> Damn, how? America. <laughs> and then guess how much the top 25% is at 35. These are the top 25% of earners. It's 50,000 50, is the, the average income of a 37 mm -hmm. year old man. And then the, what's the top 25% of a 37 year old? 
if you had to guess. Oh, come on now. Stop rolling. The top 25% of mm -hmm. the 37. Don't, don't, year. don't. Dang, maybe it's 200,000. 86. What? No, it's not. No, 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 no. Is no. 137,000. No, just stop. Skip. Top 1% of earners at 37 years old. Top Don't do it again then. Right, right. Lady, I'm like, watching now. We're talking. She does it again. I'm going to that. 1%. Don't. 304,000. She's not going to do it then. Right. Still not 650. Do you think that you're. you're uh, standards are unrealistic. Do you think it's realistic? Like, what do you think after hearing the median and the statistics around it? Like, what are your th Six. initial thoughts? It definitely is shocking because a 37 year old man is a lot older than me. And that means. If you get shocked by the reality of these numbers, get a job! Get an employment! That. I don't even know what how to process this right now. And the median income never eclipses sixty five thousand, regardless. This of is you. These stats don't wow. surprise so, me. Yeah, the median income for even these a seventy five thousand. Don't surprise me. To I don't need to get a job because of that. Sixty five thousand, and then over seventy percent of men never make a hundred k even once in their lifetime. Over seventy percent. In 2021, only 23.4% of the male workforce made 100000 and that's all ages. So bro, just... bro, the reality is, people that will make these incomes that, that are good or, or pretty good, right? When at the age these people are going to meet them, they won't even be out of debt, right? From paying back the loan that they got, the training that, that they got to make that money. Yet. Think about that for a second. Assume a lot of them are older, above 40, 50, 60s. Why do you think, what know. do you think makes women feel like they want that? Like what is causing women to want the one percenters? I think a lot of it is like social media hype and just this grand idea of what's obtainable nowadays, which it totally is, but you have to work for it. And that's why it's one percent. Stop blaming the fucking media. No, I'm not. Now you guys say true. I don't even agree. Fuck you guys. No, I don't, I don't give a fuck. If you said true, you're an, you're, you're an idiot. Then. Fuck social media. Okay. It's not the social media's problem. If you look at eight, ten cars in a row that are all luxurious, and you go down the street and you look at eight Corollas and say, I think people are, I think everybody's rich and they all make 200k a year, guys. It's the media's fault because they saw me, I saw eight cars that are so luxurious, and in the street, they're all brokies. What the fuck is that, man? No! You're not intaking the data and breaking it down and making a conclusion. You are fucking brain dead you do not you have ceased to improve and reason with the data given you are not an intelligent person stop blaming the media for being unintelligent oh my god it. so it's not bad to want that oh guys the beauty standards are so insane these days look at all the social media i saw three influencers with uh, uh, all these faces and you go down the street everybody's ugly like, yo, man! You surround yourself with those types of people. So, honestly, for a long time, you're probably going to be in the 25%. But that's how you strive and you get oh, better man. and you, you meet the right people. So, I think they want it because it seems so obtainable. I actually did it. So I actually did Do you think a lot of people just don't know the statistics around it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I was a little shocked when... You know, obviously oh, the one percent. Oh, even I, as superior to this knowledge, even I, as somebody who knows a lot, I was surprised by some of this. No, you weren't. She was surprised by all of it. I'm, dude. Oh my God, I, 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 it's gonna be that higher income, but what was the beginning like? 41? The median is forty-one. Yeah, yeah, that that was as shocking to me, to be honest with you. But I mean, I'll, it makes sense. I'll tell you some other ones that are crazy too. So the median income never eclipses sixty-five thousand dollars, regardless of the age. What? In twenty twenty-one alone, only twenty-three point. Oh my god! Average millennial net worth by age, twenty-two minus forty, minus forty k, minus thirty-three k. Wait, I had it right. I said, wait, I said at the ages of these people are going to meet these guys. So these guys will, won't even be done paying their debt yet. And I was wrong by one year, yo. I almost said spot on. Dude, chat, remember when I told you, chat, that 50% of people, um, what did I say last time? I said that 50% of America, it's just an old stat, don't have, don't have more than a thousand bucks in the media. That's why, yo, man.
four percent uh, of the male workforce so made hundred k, and that's all ages. So you have to assume a lot of them are yeah, older. Yeah, right. and hardly any of them would be twenty seven. Right, right, right. Um, so wow. Old and there's actually only one age from sixteen to seventy five where the top 10% of men make 200K. If you had to guess what it is, what would you say? 34. 75 years old. What? Yeah, bringing it home. <laughs> old ballers. That's so cool. Would you date a 75 year old? No. Get- the, do you not have any sort of economic knowledge of why that would be the case? Uh, uh, bro. Oh. The money? No, no. So where do you think these guys are at that are making this much money? Like, what do you think they're doing? To be honest, like it's probably I'm thinking like as someone that's in like they're the boomers, STEM world, they're probably they're boomers, but other people invested their money properly. I'm not saying they did, they balled out. They invested money properly at a young age, and the finance is good. They had financial literacy from a decent age. And what do you think is happening when they're when they're older, dude? Money grow, money literally grows on trees at that point, man. Because you did properly when you, at the beginning, yo. And either STEM, entrepreneurship. Um, or they are in the entertainment industry and they are the lucky few, I would think. Or they're maybe doing trades. Okay, and what, what industry are you in? You're in STEM? Yeah, I'm in STEM. Oh my gosh. Yes. What's oh, that? <laughs> That's impressive. So do you meet a lot of men who make this much money? Like, do most of the men you interact with meet these requirements? Yes, if they're older, if they're outside my age range, yes. Where do you think these guys are at that are making this much money? Um, they are not out there, yo. They're out there grinding. What do you think? Where do you think they're at? at the office, yo? They're honestly probably just not around because they have more going for themselves. Yes! Just, like, going out and like partying around. Like, yes! Like, like, businessmen, you know? So I don't know. It's Starbucks at 7 a.m. in the morning. I That'd be my guess at their business office. So, so you said 150 to 250 mm-hmm. would be kind of ideal. Over 70% of men never make 100K even once in their lifetime. So last year alone in 2021, only 23.4% of the male workforce made 100K. And this is like all ages, 16 to 75, like all working people. Yeah, and the majority of them, like you have to assume they're older because it's factoring in all ages. Um, And then only one age... From 16 to 75. Bro, this must be a dusty ass room. She's bl- she's bl- she blinks so much. Bro, yo, dude, in this be like a retina display, fucking eyes or some shit, yo. At the top 10% what the are fuck? making 200K. If you had to guess, pick. Oh, the lights, bulbs. 39. 75 years old. Hell no. I don't want a raisin. I don't want a Hugh Hefner. Trust me, I'd rather just be single. Thank you, though. Have you ever met any men that make that much money that are in the age that you're looking for? Yeah, multiple. No. Nope. And where nope. do you typically nope. meet them? Like online nope. or on nope. trips? Nope. Um, one I met traveling. Oh, uh... No, no, you are hunting them. Just guys, I'm not trying to be an, an Intel bait, okay? As I promise, okay? I'm not baiting Intels. You are 100% tarting your shots and you are hunting them down as your prime target. You're not looking for anything else other than that. If at that, if at that age, at age of that, right? She has met a bunch of people who make that amount. Bro, bro, that's rare. It's a rare thing. Just, it's, it's, guys, it's all mathematics. It's all numbers game. If you were to, to put in front of you all the people at a bar, right? That you could potentially meet, you would have to go to like 20 bars to find somebody at that age that fits that. It's rare as fuck. Uh, one on a dating app and one or two in person, like out, like going out with my friends. But there are people that do make that that are younger. It's just not like the median, right? Right. Is that what so, you're saying? So over 70% of men never make 100K in their lifetime. But last year, 23.4% of the male workforce made 100K. So that was in 2021. Okay. So 23.4%. Um, majority of those are probably older. Uh, but there, there probably is a small percentage that make, you know, over 100K. But, I mean, you said 300K, so that's not even anywhere close. But the median oh income gosh. the median income for people never eclipses 65K regardless of age. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I guess there is, like, a wide... See, don't let this video... See, don't let this video bring around... I'm doing it, mate. That's a good thing. That's good. That's fantastic. Range, so... Would you marry a guy who made less money than you? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
yes, because at the end of the day, like, you can't, like, that isn't necessarily what makes me, like, attracted to a person. And just because somebody makes X amount of dollars, like, you can't force yourself, at least I can't, to like someone for that reason. Mm -hmm. So, like, if whoever I fall in love with or, like, want to be with doesn't make that, then it just... It, then it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So you'd be ma you'd be willing to make changes and chap, compromises to your chap, ideal scenario chap, based chap, off of hearing chap, the chap, statistics. Chap. Yeah, because Mrs. Chappington, ideal scenario, but with the wrong Mrs. Chapalonia the third. So right, like definitely. If, if the only way you could have that is if the guy's seventy five years old, oh, like you're not choosing no. that. No. Uh, it it depends. That that depends because. Um, if I'm making enough money that I can sustain the family and still still be a housewife, I guess, like I'm making enough passive income or enough, like I can take time off enough with my job, then I'm okay. This doesn't make any, this, wait, this doesn't make any sense. A with my husband not making as much, but... But only if you were, say, at making 500k yourself. Yeah. If I was making 500k, then, then I can make that exception. I know. I, I, I get it. Then. This is uh, we call, uh, I guess I think this is NFT, NFT plus crypto brain rata. Guys, it's crypto brain. They think like, oh, I, I bought this crypto uh, last year, and now it's passive income for the rest of my life. I, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I don't it's think gotta that be. It's gotta be. I could marry somebody that makes less than, than me. If the amount that I was making was different, then I think, okay, so the higher the amount of money that I would make would determine like if I would be willing to marry someone that makes less than me. At the end of the day, I would stay true to who I am. And if this was a person that I really ideally liked, and they were just making fifty thousand, um, I and they, they were loyal. I would be with that person, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but as long as he doesn't have more debt than me, that's fine. Like that's just like where we're talking about. Like if you're getting married to somebody, like their baggage is your baggage. So you could make less money than me. That's <laughs> no, 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 chat, guys, guys. I can't wait so much, guys, I, guys, guys. My bar is this. Stacked. It is stacked. fine, but don't bring more debt. How than me. you know that's where it's like I'm not gonna pay your bills that way. <laughs> what what is it? Do you think that these men want specifically in a woman? Like, what would make a guy like pick you or want to be with you if they're making this much money? Like, what are they looking for? A wallflower, someone they can come home to, and they're making dinner and they're draped in lingerie and just uh, unrealistic lo wife I guess I um someone who takes the kids to school every day someone who doesn't complain and yeah I'm basically not that is what I'm trying to get <laughs> so folks I'm screwed for that okay okay wait chat I'm confused because I'm I'm very confused so they say they're going for you you want something yeah? And then you would be that if this, and you say, what do you think that that, that, that wants? And it's something else. Uh, well, I'm confused. I'm mad. But, and then it changes backwards. <laughs> and what that, do you think those guys want? They said that what, does that, does that make sense? Fuck. Like the top 1% men, men, what are they looking for in women? I mean, I hope it's just honesty and like loyalness because that's the most hard, I guess, uh, like personality trait to find nowadays. And it's, I think what should be the most important. So I hope that's what they're looking for. Honestly, Loyal though, it's mess. probably fake ass and big titties, which is cool. It, I turn my head too, but it's just, I don't think they're as realistic as they should be. I mean, they say the same about us, so. So you think men are unrealistic about maybe what they're looking for too? Or they're not as, well, not that they're unrealistic, but that they're, there's such a painted picture of like what this woman should look you're, you're like. Bro, fuck it, man. Double standards, yo. You know what I say, man? This is my unhinged Intel brain today, chat. Here's my thoughts. Move the fuck on. I'm not moving on, okay? If you can identify like that, right? Objectify like that. If you view dude for income, money, and materials, that's also objectifying it. Fuck it. I think it's objectifying, yo. 
like based Vanessa. on all these Thoughts. women on social media with Facetune and Photoshop and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. Otherwise, it's backwards as fuck. But do you think since they're like the top one percent of men, they can be? They feel like they can be more picky little, about yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, hundred percent that they can be a little bit more choosy. Um, I mean, I I think core values should always be present. You should always have standards for that. But if it's like aesthetics and looks, those one percenters probably feel so a lot of this is about money and how much money does that make how much money does that get them how much money do these traits bring to the table zero zero actually no. they don't have to talk to you zero to talk to you. dollar do you think women have unrealistic expectations too about men yeah, specifically absolutely. like in the money category that we're talking about yes like, i mean i mean i just asked you to paint you know a picture and it's like a three million dollar nest yeah in the car so like so what, nice. what are your thoughts after hearing the statistics like does that still seem realistic to you or do you think it's maybe a little i mean it seems realistic to myself because i know what i'm gonna get uh and i really don't need the support of a of a, a guy like that like i'm looking for another pilot you know what i mean to i don't need a co-pilot so it just depends on the type of person that you surround yourself with. So I think anything could be realistic. You just have to work for it. What are these guys looking for in women? Like, what do you think they want in a woman? So that's why I feel this is the catch with dating someone that's making a significant amount of money. Even though they can provide the lifestyle that I, in a perfect world, ideally would love to have. Um, Don't go there. Don't do it. This no. is a person that no, has no. access to so many more things than the average person has. So I might not be enough for this person's curiosities. You know. No, no, no. I knew she would say that. Yes, I, yes, I knew she would say that. I knew this is not redemption arc. Nope. That is that dude. Dude. How is it that, th that then, then it's curiosity and what? Brother, it's equivalent value. It's equivalent. Whatever they have, they have to offer. Then you can you can match. That's it. Be Otherwise, it's unrealistic. People people are grounded by their life experiences. Okay, somebody knows something is not realistic after years or decades of fucking living it, and it's and then most people are on average. Your normal people will be grounded to not. I mean, every reason is stupid as fuck. It's like. It needs to be some sort of equivalency, okay? What you're getting is what you can, what is it, you can output. Input, output, where it levels out, okay? If you think, oh yeah, I wanna get this, but their expectations will be way too high. Okay, if that's the case, then you can't get that then, right? And if you said you can, and they're, they're, they're unreasonable, well, you're just you're wrong. You are objectively wrong at that point because it's not equivalent. You know, and that would make me very insecure in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It would make me, it, if I was making significantly less than a partner, it would make me feel insecure, like I wasn't on the same level as them. And um, not that I'm trying to like be the, you know, super Yeah, see, I knew it, I knew it. This is the problem with the people that, that they chose in this video, is that they lack a lot of intrinsic, intrinsic value. Value that isn't tied to um, a bunch of random shit and numbers and optics. Something that really is their value as a person that isn't tied to anything like with wires. It's just them. They, in my opinion, this is a bunch of people that lack this and feel certain ways based on things that do move around them, which is fucking bad. It's, um, that's terrible. Because I can be submissive in some areas. I feel like that would just, I couldn't. I couldn't maintain a relationship with a person like you like would that. think maybe that they were looking elsewhere. I think that men that make this much money just want a woman that's really easygoing, really laid back, probably doesn't have much of an opinion that's different from their own. I'll never be that woman. I'll always argue, uh, you know, a difference of opinions because it's fun to me. So, um, I feel like they want a woman that they can be very. Um, what is the word like dominant over like they're gonna be calling the shots a lot of, a lot of problems in a, a lot of couples okay uh, um uh, will be about financials if you think about but look at all the topics about about a bunch of breakup uh, and when you're when you're older breakups whatever the fuck usually financials arguments about fi finance this is how the this is how the world is right of course there's an extent of people think there's gonna be more laid back or easygoing 
when all the financials are all taken care of, there's less to argue about at that point. That's just kind of how it is. Is it, um, um, I don't think that makes somebody lose their opinion on things. I don't think that's how it works. Um, these are all my good things. Would you be willing to make any changes or compromises to the things that you want based off of hearing the statistics like the house, how many kids, cars, vacations, you know, living in your nice neighborhood? Like what compromises would you make? Or would you not be willing to make any compromises and this is just the life that you want? And I'll be all. I just think at this stage in my life, because I'm 24 and I've dated a few guys and I, I still, that's still a goal of mine. Uh, maybe if I was like 30 and, you know, my fertility clock was ticking and I needed to make some compromises to kind of like settle down with somebody, um, then I, I would probably be able to do that. But as of right now, mental gymnastics, that is still a goal of mine. And I think that it's achievable. Um, cause I think that you can live that life with $300,000. Probably not a hundred thousand, but three hundred thousand dollars probably. It's very different when you're expecting someone else to do it for you versus like I'm gonna do it myself. Right. Um, and then you know whoever I'm with will hopefully have a similar mindset and be able to like work towards it with me, and we can right. kind of tackle it together. Right. Um, yeah, it's like if you have twenty k and I have twenty k, like we can get so much more done as opposed to myself or right. yourself or me just Chat, demanding yeah, that you. Exactly. This is my last second. Some things in life are quantifiable right you think oh maybe it's gonna work out maybe it's gonna get there dude try to pay your one thousand dollar rent with energy bucks try it try it right now try it try to pay your one thousand dollar rent with energy bucks what is this gonna do it doesn't get there it doesn't bridge the gap dude that's how it works so if whatever you have to offer doesn't bridge the gap you can't get that the have that it just it's it would never work this is just how that works yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm not too fixated on the salary. I still want to be comfortable and hopefully oh have my God. some of the things that I wasn't able to have, you know, go on trips and have kids and have them well taken care of. So whatever that means, it's a cliche saying, but like my best friend growing up, she came from a family of eight, also a blended family like mine. And her mom always said, we just, you always make things work. So I'm like actually not even worried about it because Damn. I think if you just... Think that I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. She's maximizing and the things overall, she can control and then the things would you she say can't that you're control. Surprised by the statistics I showed you, like the median income of the 31 year old only being, let me look really quick, forty five thousand dollars. Oh yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> but then again, like I understand it now that I think back of like different conversations I've had with people, different dates that I've went on. I'm like that does make. A lot of sense mm -hmm. um, but at the same time it's also kind of nerve-wracking because if I'm thinking like you know back in the day like if you would have thought like in high school like hey you know once I'm 30 you know everyone thought like oh at least for girls like we're gonna be married you know we're gonna have kids we're gonna be living in this big house and that's not even like the standard of living currently or even like the average so yeah like that's insane to think about it's crazy when you have an idea of what you want, but you don't really yeah. know what it is you're asking for. Yeah, like, you don't know the true value of things until like you're currently experiencing it. I, I think just surprised, honestly, because I wouldn't have guessed that. So it's good to know what is more realistic. You don't have to guess, I'm definitely though. shocked, to say the least. Bro, it's you don't have to guess, man. Two years low, bro, how much money? Bro, you go down the street, okay? Most people have beat up cars, and most people are struggling and broke and you go one street over and a lot of people are homeless yo like how can you be surprised by it i don't get it Excuse where have they been the especially for me picking 27 I, I wonder if I, maybe i would have picked a little bit of an older age um but it just wasn't ideal for where they would be at but you said people don't even eclipse over 61,000 or 65 65,000 over their life that's just like for the median yeah yeah for the average of people it's mm -hmm interesting so i mean i guess it really just depends on what you do for a living it was a huge takeaway for me i would have never guessed that number because even if you go to 30 it's 45,000 35 52,000 wow and when you're a woman who's making you know 
a good uh, amount yourself. Uh, it's like you don't shot. even think about a man making less than you. I think yeah. it's the, the mindset that a lot of women have. I, for, I don't know, for myself, because I, I, at a young age, just figured out like the type of people to be around and how to invest and turn more money into. In bro, bro, bro. What is chat linking? I, mean, yo, I guess I clicked something at random earlier. I didn't even check the titles. Bro, what the fuck? What is this? Because what is the female delusion calculator? Classic MD Pog link. Fill the bubbles. Okay, what are the chances to find a man in my dreams? Okay, I'd say I'm. Um, Mid twenties to early thirties. Okay, so I'm, let's say I'm uh, twenty five, yeah, to fucking thirty two. All right, um, any color shade. Minimum height. Um, well, well, me man's has to be at least six one. I mean, mans cannot be obese. Yeah, guys, 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 we're role playing, okay, guys? Guys, we are role playing. We are role playing. Settle the fuck down. Okay? Settle down. Income? Yes, 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 yes. I'm just putting. I'm going along with the video. Right? Is that, is that fine? If we did the, if we, if we did the average, two k, is that the average of what they had they had said combined? Oh, it's gonna crash, isn't it? It's crashed. Congrats, chat. We broke the website. 